What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is Rug Rack Matt and we have our little friend here again. Bert. Hola. You haven't seen him in a while. Bert's uh -huh, been man. busy. But look what he got. Show him. Boom. Bert's got a GoPro. So we're gonna have multiple views now on some of these videos when Brett's in it. So we we're just kind of uh just kind of we were we were just like, hey, let's go fishing. I was like, all right, let's go fish them. And then uh, we got here, we got up north, and um, well, we forgot our tackle. So uh, we had to go to a tackle shop. And uh, we're gonna play that right now. And the whole thing is, you can only spend $20 on tackle. Yeah, check this out. Right, guys we made it to the tackle shop check it out hopefully let's film in here and uh, like i said twenty dollars that's all i get to spend and hopefully find a frog it's my big one i want a frog so we found the frogs a lot of choices but like i said i only got twenty dollars so uh kind of need to be smart with my money but i see right here some dragonfly and i don't have a dragonfly so i think that's what we're gonna go with they're also cheaper it's only 7.75 so instead of like a 12 dollar frog or $10, $8, you know, the cheapest one is like four, but I mean, that's some good stuff. Four dollars, not the great. So I think we're gonna go with the dragonfly from Lunker Hound too. All right, 375. So we're at 11.50 right now. But I'm gonna spinner bait, very useful. Especially now at this time of the year. All right, getting smart here. Got some shaky head jigs. I was gonna do the Texas rig, but then it's like, this is a 450. So you buy the weights, that's two something, and then you buy the hooks, that's another four, so it's like six dollars. Save money. And now we just need a plastic. So we can throw a plastic on the spinner, and we can also throw a plastic on the jigs. Fuck, what are we at right now? I need to do some math. All right guys, so all three of these, jigs, top water, and spinner bait. We're at $16 exactly. Kind of got luck. Now we're just trying to find a trailer and something put on the jig. Kind of looking for a craw. I don't see any craws for $4. <laughs> oh, here we go. I think this is the craw. Maniac Custom Lures. So we're perfect, boys. It's hard to see right now in the bag. These are like a, a Ned Rig craw, which would be perfect for everything. So I actually have 25 cents to spend, so I'm going to buy a gumball. All right, guys, Brett's doing the same thing, and uh, won't go through everything. We'll go through what he bought on the boat. All right, boys, me and Bert walking out a little bit more broke, but uh, we got the goodies. We got the goodies. Now, uh, I'm going to launch the boat, the boat, and uh, talk to you about why we picked these things. And Back to the lake. See, we have bought tackle. We're gonna go over Brett's tackle and uh, see what he bought because you already saw mine and yeah, let's get to it. What's up, guys? So, this is my review on all the stuff that I got for under 20 bucks or around. Unfortunately, wasn't able to get everything I wanted to, but I did get some great stuff that I know has worked in the past. For example, this guy is a quarter round spinner blade with a Colorado and a willow. I love this thing. I've used this on many a fish, northern bass. It has worked beautifully on all those types of species. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to get some top water action. If not, run it right across the bottom, I'd say foot two feet, right on these lily pads and canes in here. Should work awesome in this tiny little bay that we're in. Another thing I've personally been really wanting to try out is one of these torpedoes with the tail on the back. I don't know if you can get a close up on that. It's really cool in the fluorescent green. I have never personally swam one of these. I've always wanted to because the topwater actions and topwater breaks are really cool to hit, especially on like a frog or something like that or a pop. But I've seen these torpedoes run. They are really cool action, as I mentioned, and that's kind of what we're going for back in this bay is mainly topwaters to see exactly how many fish are still back in here or if they're going back out to the deeper water. That you always got to get is the KVD Sexy Frog. Always got to go with one of those. They are, as I said, one of the great topwaters you can do. If any frogs, I'm not going to say specifically the KVD or anything like that, but obviously you gotta get a frog for those top water break. So hopefully they produce in this little bay that we came back in. All right guys, let's go ahead and get to fishing. All right guys, I'm gonna be starting with that dragonfly from Lunker Hunt, and we'll see how it goes. Got one? There you go. That's definitely a fish. Bird's hooked up, what you got? Bass? Ooh, that's a nice one. I mean, that's a pretty good fish. All right, guys. Ned Rig. A key. And then this is the plastic that I found. And these are 
Um, absolutely amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is gonna fall off. Oh no, it's not. So yeah, there's the setup. This actually looks really flipping good. Not gonna lie. Look at this. That looks juicy. <laughs> No way! That's smallmouth? Ah! He got me! <laughs> oh, big one. <sighs> Definitely not gonna mount it, but it's close. It's close to mounting. <laughs> I was like, did I catch a bluegill? <laughs> oh! Get him! Nice, dude! That was cool! Get him in the boat, baby! Nice. That was cool, bro. Use that frog. Bert's taking it for the team today. It's gonna be Rugrat and Bert. <laughs> oh. No! I snapped off! <gasps> oh my god! Viewers at home, <laughs> I'm not crying, you're crying. <laughs> oh, dude. There is a lure in someone's mouth right now. <laughs> I see a nest. Yes! Finally! Oh, boys. Oh, that felt so good. Oh, I got him good. Finally got one. Broke off on a couple and we're back at it. Get him back in the water. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this video. It's kind of challenging, not gonna lie. $20 is not much to get a full spectrum. Spectrum of lure. Um, but we did get it done. Yeah. Put one, put one on his back. I got that last one, that smallie, and that other little one. So I had the dragonfly, which at the time it was super windy and it was I was bird nesting. With that uh it's super light but i think and like a nice calm like right now it's i mean it's it's calm as hell right yeah, that's now. beautiful though. awesome out so right now it'd be perfect then i had the ned rig with these plastics yeah on those snaps yeah i snapped off on like up. two fish and then one of them so i made it work because you finally got the whole process done um you had the spinner bait i had the spinner bait at first which worked really well in the lagoon at first and then had the torpedo with the that thing was cool. little paddle tail on the back. I If it had a little more weight, it would be really nice, but then obviously it wouldn't float right on top. Yeah. Um, still a really nice bait. I probably am gonna use it again. And I got a chance to throw the frog just because I had those two kind of knocked out. So I was able to do that. I was using that, frog. that guy right there. The Which I like the natural color of that thing. That looked nice. KVD, Strike King, yeah. pretty nice. Um, if I had to say my favorite is that spinner bait, just because I have A, used that spinner bait before, I know it works really well. That was nice too. And B, it's a really, I, I almost want to say natural presentation rather than most of them, which are, you know, pink, white, which the are chartreuse. nice. They're nice colors, yeah. but I like that spinner bait specifically. So we are going to wrap it up for this video. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching. Check out these videos that are coming up right now and have a great day and see you on the water next time. Peace.